So in this tutorial, we'll be entering the LG service menu. I am a colorist and I want to disable TPC and GSR, which has been difficult due to recent LG update and I'm particularly using the LG OLED C3. So for this particular tutorial, we'll be using two things, USB to Ethernet adapter, which I've added the link in the description and also the Ethernet cable. Now this can work for you over Wi-Fi, but it did not work for me. So we are using this in this tutorial. Also, this is done on Windows. I'm also using the LG service remote. So when you press Insert on your remote, then 0413, then you have this, which is very annoying because LG disabled it. Remember the password again is 0413. So once you push Insert on your service remote, then 0413, then this comes up, which we don't need. Anyway, we'll be using the color control hub, which I've added the link in the description just download it yep so i'll be downloading now like i said i'm using windows and we are using ethernet to usb adapter and the ethernet cable so i just downloaded the color control hub i'm extracting it then i'm going to put it on my desktop after the color control hub i'll be using two other apps which i've also added the link in the description just download the first and the second one and install them so i just drag the color control app to my desktop now i downloaded the first dot net 9.0 just open install it then then also the second one uh, the first one is still installing oh, the second one click it install it then we are ready to connect the color control app to our tv and the way we are going to do this is that the two other stuff i showed you earlier the ethernet adapter and the usb to ethernet adapter just connect both of them connect it to your tv then go to the ip address of your tv now for this you have to use the black remote of your tv now this method works for my lg oled c3 you can try it for lg oled c4 i heard some people tried it for LG OLED C4 and it worked but this is LG OLED C3 and I've updated it I didn't know I'm going to have this issue if not I wouldn't have updated it so like I said connect the internet adapter to your to the back of your TV and connect it to your laptop so your laptop is providing internet to your TV now this is it this is me I've installed it I am opening it go to the LG controller you can refresh it it can detect your TV that did not work for me. So with your black remote, type settings, network, wire connection. All you need is to copy out the Wi-Fi and the MAC address. Then click Add. Since the stop couldn't find our TV, then Add. Then I just type LG OLED C3. Then the the MAC address and the IP address that I copied from settings with my LG remote. I type it in. Then I click OK. You might get a pop up on your TV. Just click OK. Then it's good. As long as the Wi Fi, the IP address, and the MAC address are correct, it will connect. It should connect with the Ethernet cable. Then all I have to click is refresh, and we are good. Go to the expert settings. So make sure that your TV and your laptop are on the same Wi Fi connection, even though your laptop is providing internet for your tv we have to enable this full service menu now note this might void your warranty and this tutorial is only for educational purposes then all i have to do is to click on enable i just have to enable it yes enable then yes click on yes then i'm good then with your service remote now the one you ordered from amazon just press in start like you did the first time then 0413 which is the password then you are good you should have the full menu that was hidden that was disabled by lg note this might void your warranty and this tutorial is only for educational purposes like and subscribe thank you